Very nice. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video we are going to create the most overpowered build for the Shadow Sunflower Blossom which is a colossal weapon that features the highest stance damage possible in the game and one of the best R2 possible for a colossal weapon which is a slam R2. This weapon deals physical and holy damage, scales B with faith and C with strength. The best part of this weapon is its unique skill Shadow Sunflower Headbutt. It's an extraordinary slam attack that can be followed up twice. It's a very powerful attack that will allow you to deal a lot of stance damage and a lot of base damage as well despite of being holy damage. A very important thing about the DLC is that holy damage is actually useful in these scenarios compared to the late game of the base game where using holy damage is completely useless. So it's very nice to be capable of using a holy weapon and actually dealing a very good amount of damage. First of all I'm going to show you the build and then we will be the major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. To get the most out of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 25 on Mind, 40 on Endurance, 54 on Strength and 83 on Faith. Golden Vow and Howl of Shabriri are going to be our main buffs, but if you don't like Howl of Shabriri cause it makes you take a little bit of more damage, you can use Flame Grand Me Strength perfectly fine. And as you can see I have my Scattered Tree Blessing on the level 20 and if you want to deal a really good amount of damage damage to the hardest DLC bosses, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. In this case we are going to use the Shadow Sunflower Blossom on plus 10 and then easily we have available to cast our buffs, any weapon with the Raptor Optimist touch of war to be able to easily dodge the Radan Slide Explosion attack and we are going to be rocking the Rakshasa's armor set that will increase our damage by a total of 8% if we wear the entire set. If you don't like how this armor set looks feel free to use any other you want, just be aware that in that case your damage will be a little bit lower. The most effective talismans we can use for this build are the Shard of Alexander, the Two-Handed Sword Talisman, the Axe Talisman and the Sacred Scorpion Charm. If you are missing one of these talismans you can also use the Dagger Talisman, the Blade of Mercy or the All Lords Talisman. Some talismans will be better in certain scenarios so be sure to make your own tests to create the best combination according to your playstyle. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic we are going to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Holy Shouting Crack Tear. However two great alternatives you can also use are the Spike Crack Tear and the Stone Barb Crack Tear. With the type of weapon we are using which is a Colossal Hammer weapon we are going to be dealing a lot of stance damage and combined with those tiers we are going to have a very broken build as well so it's up to you guys and as we are using a colossal weapon this build devours stamina so be sure to craft some pickle turtle next to boost your stamina regeneration speed now i'll show you how to buff your character with this build first you have to use your flask of wondrous physic then you are going to use golden vow and you're going to use a pickle turtle leg just after that you are going to use your body buff i will use howl of shabriri but be sure to use flame grand me strength if you don't want to take any extra damage your damage will be lower though. Then refill your FP, your HP, and with that you should be ready to go. Very interesting. Oh. Very nice. Hmm. Nice. Get him. Come on, that's a very nice hit. Come on. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, beautiful, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, guys. <laughs> what a nice damage. Let's get ready for the party, guys. Let's go. Okay, my guy is going wild with the movement. Take that one, bad boy. <laughs> 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hey there, homie. Nice. Very good hits. Come on. Let's go, let's go, we did it. Nice. <laughs> that was too close, bro. Nice damage. Mm. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no way. No way. Run, homie. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Okay, that's good. Oh, nice. Come on. Oh, no. Come on, I got him. I don't know why I did that, guys. <laughs> I really don't want to... Why I did that. Come on. Get him. Come on. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, we have to dodge those projectiles. No, we can run him. Yeah. That is very nice. Very nice indeed. Take those hits. Take those hits, bad girl. Let's go, baby. Come on, destroyer. Destroyer, come on. Oh! <laughs> nice! Okay, Mr. Golden Hippo. Let's work this thing. Take this hit, bad boy. And let's show him who's boss. Come on. Oh, say goodbye, bad boy. <laughs> hey. Easy, homie. It deals even more damage. Nice, very nice, very nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's do this. Come on. Come on, baby. Give it to me. Let's go, baby. <laughs> nice. It's time to do this, guys. Let's go. We don't have too much time this time. Okay, this is my chance. Come on. Come on, quickly. Let's go! I know it, bro! I knew it, I mean! <laughs> Come on. Oh, beautiful. Heavy hit. Oh my god. There we go with another one. Oh my god, that's beautiful. And take this one. Oh no! I'm sleeping. Take this. Oh, amazing, baby. Let's go. Now, come on. Go crazy. This might be the most perfect RNG ever, bro. Come on. Finish him. Finish him. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Let's go, guys. That was epic. Wow, that is insane. Goodbye, bad boy. Oh! <laughs> nice, guys! 